Hello, future nurses. Nurse Ed Scholar here. Uh, today, we're going to dive into adventitious breath sounds. Um, you know, those are those unexpected sounds that can provide some crucial clues at a patient's respiratory health. Um, we're going to explore some fine crackles, coarse crackles, wheezing, ronchi, and pleural friction rub. So are you ready to deepen your understanding? So let's get started. Now, fine crackles, those are those high-pitched crackling, popping sounds that are heard at the end of ex uh, end of inspiration. You know, those are, you know, when you hear people say, you know, Rice Krispie treats that snap, crackle, and pop. So that's kind of how fine crackles sound. Now realize that these cannot be cleared by cough. Okay. Uh, You'll hear the you'll hear these fine crackles in conditions like, you know, pneumonia, heart failure, and asthma. Okay, now coarse crackles, those are low pitch bubbling or gurgling kind of sounds. They kind of you know start an inspiration and go to you know the first kind of part of expiration. These also cannot be cleared by a cough. And um, they are heard in clients that have heart failure, asthma, um, restrictive pulmonary diseases. Um, it, can, um, it can also be heard in like terminally ill patients. Um, with uh, like pulmonary edema um, and uh, you know, also with patients with um, like pulmonary fibrosis, okay? Now, wheezing is a high pitched musical sound that can be, I guess, similar to like, I guess, squeaking, I guess. Uh, it occurs in the small airways and um, you'll hear this with people with asthma, okay? Now, ronchi are low-pitched, coarse sounds, kind of like a snoring or a moaning kind of. They're heard during uh, expiration and inspiration, and these can be heard by, well, cleared, sorry, by a cough. So you'll hear some instructors say, you know, I don't know if it's a wheeze. I don't know if it's a crackle. I don't know if it's ronchi. Well, basically they'll say, if it's cleared by a cough, more than likely it's ronchi. Um, and ronchi can be heard in clients that have um, obstructed airways of the trachea or the bronchus. Um, and it can be heard in um, chronic bronchitis as well. And last, we have that pleural friction rub. Kind of sounds like, you know, two things rubbing together. So two surfaces rubbing together is kind of like a grating sound. Um, it is not cleared by cough. It's heard throughout inspiration and expiration. And... Um, it's associated with um, people who have pleurisy, which is an inflammation of the pleural surfaces in the lung. Um, and, um, you know, with that plur uh, pleural inflammation, you know, people also have pain with um, breathing, okay? So as we wrap up, that was pretty short overview of adventitious breath sounds. Um, you know, they serve as, you know, variable, valuable indicators, sorry, of underlying respiratory conditions. Um, so as nurses, we're going to need to, um, identify and interpret 
these breath sounds because it's definitely a vital skill as a nurse. Um, it's not about just hearing them, you know, it's about really understanding what the patient's lungs are telling you about them. So with that, you know, keep honing your skills, uh, you know, stay on top of your learning, you know, always listen to every person that you can so you can determine what's normal breath sounds. And then when you hear something that is abnormal, you may not know what it is initially, but you know that it is abnormal. Okay, so until next time, if you like any of the things that you heard today, please um, um, like, subscribe, comment. Okay, so until next time, happy learning.